Hello guys, it's Elibs or Billy here and then this video I'm going to show you how to edit my Cinema 4D simple intro template. So first of all you want to extract your file and then you'll have this folder. Once you open the folder this is the contents in the folder that you'll have. So first of all you want to open the Cinema 4D simple intro Cinema 4D file which will bring you to this. So to edit the name and your link here you just go to your name and edit to whatever you want. So I'm going to do Elibsify and then as you can see here the text here is now overlapping so I'll change the link first and then show you how to make it so it doesn't overlap so all you have to do is literally make sure you have the link selected click on this little arrow icon -y thing here and then get the green arrow and just drag it down till it's not touching anymore and as you can see it now it's now will change to you whatever name you want it to put in. Um, then you want to go to your render settings here and input all your render settings. It's down to you what you want to do. It may be worth searching on the internet to see some of the best render settings you can find. And then you just want to save this wherever really. I'm just going to save it in here and make a new folder to save it. So T4D new render. And I'm just going to save it as Elibsify render and then close this and click render so I'll come back to you when this is finished rendering and show you the next part in After Effects so I'll see you soon so once that part is finished rendering you just go to the After Effects file here double click to open it just give it a second I'm doing quite a lot of stuff at once so it might take a while go and as we can see it still says your name here so you want to go to this file here that says it should just say simple intro cinema 4d render you want to right click on here go to replace footage file and then go to wherever you decided to save the render from your cinema 4d uh, I saved it as cinema 4d new render and then as Yubsify so I want to open this and as you can see it's just changed my, to my name this so it's a little bit faster and there you go that is your intro finished so you now want to go to composition add to render queue lossless and then go to quicktime format options h.264 make sure it's got the highest quality okay okay again and then find where you want to save it so obviously just choose where you want to render this out to. I'm, I'm not going to do that as I don't need to. And uh, one last thing is, is it's good to have this check to 32B PC, which I forgot to say before. And you do that by holding Alt on your keyboard and clicking. By default it should be on 8, so you want to click it twice. And then obviously do, do the render like I just explained. So anyway guys, thanks for watching, if you enjoy this template and want to see more, please be sure to subscribe to my channel for more templates and follow me on Twitter to be notified when I'm uploading new templates and to get sneak previews of everything I'm releasing before it's uploaded. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.